If I was to wear short shorts or hot pants, I'm gonna look like I'm selling ass. When I tell y'all, I hate this trend. I think they're so ugly. I'm so tired of seeing them. I just wanna burn them. Thick girls, get on in here. Get on in here, okay? Cause this trend is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hi guys, I missed y'all so much. Yes, my voice is not 100%, but you know what? I can't wait any longer, okay? It's maybe like at 80%, but it's been too long. It's been too long and we gotta keep it going. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Shade Abdullahad. My channel is all about fashion, luxury, lifestyle, travel, and now motherhood okay so as you know by the title in today's video we are doing top top trends of 2024 i know you guys are probably tired of <laughs> seeing trends videos but mine is just going to be a little bit different i'm actually going to show you some items that i have that are already in my closet um that are pretty much going with the trends so these are uh some of these trends are coming right back it's very important okay because you know Last year was hell of inflation, okay? So it's very important that you are able to shop from your closet, okay? You're not just buying oh, any, any and everything and having to like revamp. I have six trends that I'm gonna talk about today. Uh, these trends, pretty much all of these trends are trends that I would wear or that I'm already, I've already worn or I've been wearing. Um, I think maybe it's like one or two trends that I like but I'm not going to hop on. I'm not going to hop on. And that's okay. That's okay. It's okay to like trends or like outfits on other people. But as long as you know your style, you know your shape, you know your proportions, you know that it's not going to work for you. Okay. It's it's cute. It's okay to like trends from afar. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram as she is for Shade. Follow me on Pinterest, TikTok, like to know it, baby, because she's been posting on like to know it. Okay. Y'all like the hair? Mm hmm it's d boutique hair because i know y'all gonna ask um makeup i will link below you know the hat is ruslan beginski now let's get into this bodysuit okay i just want y'all to see how it's snatching the waist how it's do you see this do you see it snatching the waist if you're not following my amazon store honey you need to go follow my Amazon store. She is linked there. I will link it below. I will link my Amazon store below. But yeah, I'll be putting some cute stuff on Amazon, okay? <laughs> All right, but if you're into this type of content, go ahead and have a seat, grab a snack, and let's get started. I'm so glad that you guys have been loving the vlogs. Um, there's more to come. I already have vlogs lined up. I got about three vlogs now, so we're going to first do the the to the first vlog of 2024 and then so forth anyway so i'm gonna do i'm doing six trends but i'm gonna do them i'm gonna count down okay so the first trend is number six um is basics with a twist okay so basics with a twist as well as preppy um we're gonna put those in the same category classic styles um that aren't so basic but still wearable to the office for instance uh, i have this top hold on so this is a top that i have um i got this from zara like do you see how it is a button a basic button-up shirt but it's not basic because of the texture the color the print and do you see how they added material right here same same material but they just added a little frill to it this is something that you could totally wear in the office um you could do some slacks with this you could do yeah you could do some uh some khaki pants with this you could do some slacks with this you can do a lot of things you could wear a pencil skirt with this um i will post up a picture of how i wore it because i don't work in an office <laughs> Where can I put this? It's in the way. Um, I don't work in an office, okay? So, but if I was working in an office, I would totally wear that top with some um, navy blue um, slacks. Cute little kitten heel. When I was younger, I always used to say to my mom, 
pre-dementia that I want to work at I want to work a desk job just so I can go in there and dress cute like <laughs> that was my goal when I was younger I wanted to work a desk job so I can get dressed up and get cute I love getting dressed up um, I just don't be having a reason to <laughs> lately um, but I will show you some pictures of what I mean by basic but not basic styles um, college preppy suiting uh, suiting in statement colors, polo tees, those are all coming back. For most people, they didn't go anywhere, but you know, for people who are following trends, they're coming back now. Crisp aesthetics, okay? Crisp aesthetics, basically white button up, throwing on a fun, colorful, color, colorful coat on top of it. We're maybe putting a colorful, a color, why am I, why am I stumbling over the word colorful? We're putting a colorful scarf I must be getting a package or something because that's the only reason why they should be barking right now. I mean, people want to feel good when they're going into work. There is a girl I just recently started following on TikTok. Um, let me see what her name is on TikTok. So her TikTok is effortless.bt. I will post it here. She does workwear so good. Like I love, she has like an eclectic, um, fun little just a little bit of streetwear kind of style like I love her style I'm gonna show you a couple pictures of some outfits that she has on TikTok I just love like if you are not following her on TikTok you need to go follow her because the way I love her style I love her style and that is why I followed her <laughs> what better way to go to work with a cute outfit um, your nails, honey, nails did like all of that type of stuff makes you feel good, makes you want to get up and go to work. The preppy look, the office wear, we're wearing that outside of the office as well. I know I have lately been getting into more masculine styles. Like I love masculine perfumes, woody scents and stuff like that. So I have been really into slacks, uh, more blazers, more button ups, uh, suits and stuff like that. Um, Oh, I just got a brain fart. What was I about to say? And and for my thick girls, let me just let you in on a little secret, okay? Slacks are flattering for any shape. Any shape. You can go to a thrift store and find a pair. I have I can't tell you how many times I have found a pair of slacks that fit me perfectly from the thrift store for $10, $15. I will post up some pictures uh, of an outfit that I just recently styled. I haven't posted on Instagram yet, so you're getting it first. I'm gonna post up this picture. These slacks, these slacks, I think were no more than $14 and they fit me perfectly. Like I didn't even have to go get them tailored. I did get a lot of pants, uh, so two pair. I, I, I bought maybe like 10 pair of slacks. Out of all 10 pair, only two of them need to go to the tailor and get taken in on the sides. But I'm telling you, for 10 pair of pants, you could go to the store and, and only, you'll only be able to afford one pair of pants. So do not sleep on thrift stores, okay? A couple stores that come to mind when I want to when I want to shop basics but not so basics, uh, Banana Republic, Cost. I just found out about Cost. I like them. Um, Mango, of course, Zara. Um, trying to think of any other stores I could think of. Uh, maybe Shopbop. Yeah, but those are some some of the stores that you can check uh, check or try out uh, for you know for basic preppy type of looks. Oh, and Amber Crombie, Amber Crombie as well. Okay, so the next trend is number five, ultra feminine. So we've been seeing this trend, you know, uh, for the past couple years. The sheer or lace or the the florals, the big florals. I'm um, not. I'm sorry, not big florals, but you know, like people wearing floral uh, chokers or, or or like a flower choker or a rose choker. I try to see how I would like that and like how I would like that trend. I did buy a little floral, like a flower rose choker from Zara, and it was just too floppy for me. I didn't like it, so. It's not a trend I will be jumping on. I mean, that's that's one of the trends that's kind of like included in the ultra feminine trend. Um, I'll post up some pictures here. Um, so feather detail. I cannot think of. Is it Lapointe? It's Lapointe. Lapointe does really does feather so well. Okay, 
we've been seeing them trend for the past couple of years. I love I love that brand. I love LaPointe. Pastel colors like lilac, um, light blue. Also corsets. Um, corsets are very, very trendy. They've been trending for the past two years. Uh, Victoria's Secret has this corset with like the, I think it's, I can't remember if it's roses. I'll post a picture. Roses or like flowers or something like that. But I've been seeing the girls posting that. I, <laughs> for instance, don't like it. Um, but the type of corset that I would wear or it's, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's a corset. Let me go get it real quick. Not really, <laughs> it's not really a corset. Um, this kind of falls into the um, basic, not basics or preppy look. But this is something that I picked up from Zara. Um, and I plan on wearing, like, now you could turn it into ultra feminine by wearing a sheer, um, maybe gray or brown top. Um, or even like, if you got big now if i had big boobs this would be a whole thing but i don't but yeah that um this is super ultra feminine like this shirt which is something that i'm selling on falasha day um so i am selling clothes on falasha day clothing instagram so make sure you go follow me there check my highlights if it's deleted out of the stories but yeah this shirt is for sale but yeah this is something that's very ultra feminine like you see the sheer has the little frilly top right here. The color is like, um, I don't know if it's considered to be taupe. Oh, you know what, it's mauve. This is a mauve color, yeah. I think this is the color mauve. But yeah, this is a nice ultra feminine top. You could pair this with slacks, you could do a high-waisted skirt. Even if you had like a sheer skirt, this would be super cute with a sheer skirt. Colors like this. Um, Chanel lilac bag which I will definitely be pulling out this spring because I don't think I wore it that I don't think actually I didn't wear it at all last year did I nope because I was pregnant no because I was being a mom <laughs> that was the year after I, after I had the baby but yeah um those are really cute and number four is return of the 90s okay so basically think of um Fran okay I'll post up some outfits that she has worn um everybody is coming up with this whole mob wife aesthetic like I hate that they're trying to make it seem like they're the ones that <laughs> brought up this whole mob wife era like the the fur coats and stuff like that baby hip-hop been wearing fur coats okay mob wives did not start this trend of wearing fur coats so I, I hate that they're attaching these old hags with the trend of wearing fur coats and jewelry like rappers rappers are wearing that okay not just my wives um but leopard prints minimalist um meets maximalist um easy outfits vintage pieces mixing vintage pieces with newer pieces like silk shirts and maybe um some leggings with slouch boots and a whole bunch of jewelry thrifting again here we go with thrifting you can get a lot of 90s pieces from just from thrifting for super low prices like just leather jackets with uh cropped pants like we haven't fully like we haven't brought back the <laughs> the straight leg jeans but this this is the the boot cut straight jean is what's trending right now i mean it, to each his own if you wear if you still like straight leg jeans honey to each his own i mean you can still wear straight leg jeans in the winter time as when they're tucked in boots but as far as wearing just straight leg jeans without you know without a boot or whatever nobody is doing that i've always been that girl that uh anytime it was time to go out with my friends or you know someone invited me somewhere i always shop my closet and that's because i i shop so much to where i don't have to like i i, I don't have to get ready I'm already ready okay whenever I have somebody I, I, I mean that's that's how I shop like I already know like okay I if I if I'm in the store and I see a couple things I immediately because I stay in my closet so I have a photogenic memory of the, all the items that I have in my closet I know that's weird or maybe it might not be to you but anytime I go shopping before I pick up something I always try to think of multiple ways to wear this item that's why I love sets um, because you can do so many outfits with a set. I absolutely love sets. As a matter of fact, this set that I got from Zara not too long ago, right here. Oh my God. First of all, these are high-waisted pants. 
I don't know if it's still available. I'll check and see. But it's an oversized button up top with the matching pants. Do you know how many outfits I can create with this look? I'll post up a picture of what it actually looks like because I'm probably not doing it any justice. But first of all, the color. The color is everything. Okay, I love the color. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a maroon orange or something like that, like a burnt orange. With all the inflation that happened, especially last year, and I mean, it started in 2022, but 2023... Baby, inflation was out the was out the roof, especially in Texas. I I saw a post saying that Dallas, Texas had the most had the worst inflation <laughs> of all time. So, you know, we want to reuse the items that we already have in our closet. So we're not just buying, you know what I'm saying? Like spending so much money on shopping as well as luxury items. I don't know, you know, you guys should know by now when I do my luxury hauls, a lot of my stuff comes from uh, consignment. I absolutely love consignment. I, I I just found out that I signed up with The Real Real in 2016. So I've been signed up with The Real Real in 2016. I, ha I didn't start shopping heavily with The Real Real until 2020 when the pandemic happened. But I, when I tell you I'm always hunting for a deal. I do not like if I can if I can stand it if I if it's possible for me to get it for a lower price I'm gonna shop consignment before I go to the store and pay full price okay especially with them damn Chanel bags ain't nobody buy, if you buying if you still buying Chanel bags and they keep raising that price baby something wrong with you you just like wasting your money the case, you could give me some money you give me some money but yeah like I mean you could find literally everything on consignment I remember when I used to be one of those people was like, no, I have to buy right now because it's never going to come back out again. It's going to sell out and I'm never going to see it again. Do you know how many times I have bought something and been so pissed off that I've seen it on consignment for a, a sale price? There are a pair of Alaya shoes. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I paid $2,000 for these Alaya shoes and they are, I've seen them on sale for like $900, $800. Five hundred dollars. So these Alaya shoes, I paid two fuck two. Excuse me, two thousand dollars for these shoes, and I've seen them on sale so many times for a lesser price. And I only wore these shoes two times. They're absolutely beautiful. They're gorgeous. Okay, but for the amount of money I paid, I have not gotten my cost per wear with these shoes, and I'm so pissed off. I actually got into an argument with Akbar about buying these shoes. And I'm a tourist, so I'm going to still do whatever the hell I want to do. So I bought the shoes, but I should have never bought them. So I did have to take a little break to go pick up my son from daycare. So he is in the background. I'm just letting y'all know, okay? <laughs> All right, trend number three is big bags. Um, I would have to say I saw a lot of big bags coming down the runway last year as well as this year. Um, Bottega is really good for those... You know, those fun, um, unique, textured big bags. I love the Big Jody. Um, I'll post up a video. Um, excuse me, the last time I was in the mall, uh, I tried on this, uh, this, oh, I don't know what type of green. This is like a, it was this really dark green, but it was so pretty. It felt good. Their leather, Bottega's leather just feels so soft and squishy and plush. Um, other big bags, Lueva has, uh, some really cute big bags. I'll post up a picture of London girl. There's this, this, um, <clears throat> all, excuse me, olive green bag that she has with like the little tassels on the side. It's so freaking cute. Um, Hermes, Hermes, Birkins, uh, I even have, let me show you my Fendi bag. That's an old bag. I got this when I was living in Atlanta. I want to say... 2013 so I think I've had this bag since 2013 let me show you this bag big big bags like this like this is my Fendi bag um on retail right right now this bag is probably retailing for no more than like five to six hundred dollars I'm actually going to wear this bag very very soon and it's in great condition because I take care of my things okay I take care of my things honey um the inside, like it has a lot of room, it has a little insert. Like I still be 
packing my bags too. Another bag, my beautiful, beautiful chocolate Birkin, okay? I love her and she's aged very well. Like, oof. Well, we'll talk about her another time, but big bags, okay? Big bags are in. Baby, I'll post up some pictures of people wearing big bags. Um, trying to think of who else. I think Todd's. Um, there's a lot of things that we have to pack in our bag, especially if you're on an all-day errand run. Big bags are it, okay? Oh, I just got a new big bag. I'm not even going to show it to you guys. I'm gonna. We're going to save it. We're going to save it for the luxury haul. It is so beautiful, okay? I'm not going to show you guys right now. Okay, trend number two, short shorts, hot pants. Now, this trend started, for me, I first saw this trend last year. I can't remember if it was Fendi or who it was, but I know for sure the first person I saw was Nicki Minaj, and then right after her, it was Lori Harvey. When I say last year at the fashion show, Lori Harvey killed it, okay? Now, I'm a little on the fence about this trend because the short shorts and the hot pants only look good on itty bitty booty, on the itty bitty booty committee females, okay? Like, if you have a small butt, you're good for this trend. But if you're like me or a thicker, curvier girl, the short shorts, the hot pants don't look right on us, okay? If we was to wear, if I was to wear short shorts or hot pants, I'm gonna look like I'm selling. I'm gonna look like I'm a hooker, uh, wanting attention, waiting for someone to tell me, to come up to me and say how much, okay? Because that's the only thing I hate about this trend is like it only looks good for a certain type of girl, and you know what I'm talking about. Okay, there are a couple black girls that can get away with it, but they got to be super small and skinny. So yeah, um, I'll post up pictures here. Now, Zara did, you know, Zara is good for a dupe, honey. So I want to say, let me see, hold on one second. So this picture of Nicki Minaj uh, wearing Salvatore Ferragamo, this whole little red ensemble, okay, the whole little red bodysuit, so freaking cute. Zara did uh, a dupe of that. I bought it. Actually, I tried to buy it twice. It sold out. Once I saw it was for once I saw it was available again, I purchased it. Y'all can't tell me this ain't the same. This ain't the same outfit. This is such a great dupe. Okay, it looks exactly the same. Already tried it on. It fits good. The material feels really good. So now I could, I, like I said, I could wear this, I could wear this trend, I can get into it and I could do like some black tights, but I would have to wear a long trench coat, a long wool coat, like the whole time. This is not something I can take off unless, unless I was trying to be a hot ass, you know, hot ass hot girl, you know what I'm saying? But I don't do that. And I'm not trying to draw any attention to myself because my booty is not small, especially after having a child, my booty is 10 times bigger, not 10 times, but almost 10 times bigger than it was like my booty is huge now okay like everything is huge so yeah it's just it's just I, I like the trend I just think that certain people are not you know what I'm saying are not able to wear that without being judged or you know what I'm saying talked about or looked down upon so that's just my thoughts let me know what y'all think about that trend and if you're going to be wearing it. But I don't think it's going anywhere, especially now that we're going into spring and then summer. Hot pants are going to be a hot thing, okay? All right, the last trend. Thick girls, get on in here. Get on in here, okay? Because this trend is for you. This trend is for you, okay? Look, look, look in the camera. This trend is for you. Number one trend my on my list this is my list okay this is my top trends for 2024 high waisted high 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 waisted pants okay um i'll post up some pictures of me wearing high waisted pants in 2021 okay we're in 2024 and high waisted pants for me have never gone anywhere i love high waisted pants reason being uh-oh press skip baby press the skip button y'all my baby know how to scroll on the ipad he knows how to press the skip button when the little commercials come up because he watches me. He can watch me a couple times and he knows how to do it. So smart. But um, anyway, yeah, so the high-waisted pants never went anywhere for me. I love, absolutely love high-waisted pants. Reason being is because for thick girls, 
if you have like a little pudge, a pouch, a fupa, high-waisted pants can hide that for you. They can create illusion, an illusion of a small waist. So high-waisted pants for my thick girls, curvy girls, uh, plus-size women, high-waisted pants are going to be your best friend. One person who I think is the queen of high-waisted pants is Tanika B. I will post up some pictures here and videos. When I tell you this girl has been wearing high-waisted pants I've, since I what I've seen, from what I've seen, because I started following her, I think, in 2020, two, either 2020 or 2021, I can't remember. But she's been wearing high-waisted pants consistently before this was even a trend, okay? And she does it very well. Another person that does it very well is um, London Girl. I'll post up a picture of her wearing these, oh, I think no. these... I think these are these J I think these are JW Anderson pants if I'm not mistaken but it's so cute and it's not like a regular high-waisted like it's like you know it's cut a certain way so it's not like your average high-waisted pants but those two they do high-waisted pants very well and I was just getting into my I was just starting to wear like right before junior I was heavily wearing high-waisted pants um high-waisted straight leg jeans like and then boo Baby, now I got a pudge. <laughs> I got a little fupa. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get it back down so I can get back into my clothes. Because I miss my freaking clothes. Like, I can get into some of the stuff, but not everything. And when I say high high waisted, I'm talking about, like, right up under the boob, okay? So there's high waisted, and then there's high high waisted. And high waisted goes right up under the boob. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. I'm sorry. A pair of high-waisted pants. These high-waisted pants, which you've seen in the pictures. Yes, baby. These are from Free People. You know what? Free People does... You know what? That's a great place to get high-waisted pants. Free People, Urban Outfitters, um, high-waisted slacks, and dress pants, Zara. I'm not sure about Mango. Um, uh, H&M has, has, has good high-waisted pants. But Free People... I don't even know why I stopped shopping at Free People and Urban Outfitters. I need to go back. I need to go to the mall. Y'all, my nose has been obsolete. I have not been able to smell anything for almost two months. I have not been back to the mall since the last time my sister was here. And that was that was the day after Christmas. No, that was the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. That's the last time I've been at the mall, y'all. Because I refuse to go to the mall and I can't smell anything. Like... There are so many new fragrances that are out that I want to smell. And I was just like, I'm not about to put my, I'm not about to torture myself and go to the mall and I can't smell any of the perfumes. So now that I can smell, I'm so glad. I'm going to the mall next week when he goes back to daycare because baby, I want to shop. I haven't been, in, since being that I haven't been there in a long time, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to be there all day. So I'm going to drop him off at daycare. I'm going to be in that mall from the time I drop him off to the time I pick him up, <laughs> okay? Because I got to see everything. I got to try on everything. And my period gonna be off, so we gonna have a slim, you know, it's gonna be a little bit slimmer, and I've been working out. But these are from Free People. Um, This is a size medium, and I can still wear these. These are oversized sweatpants. When I tell you I wear these at least two to three times a year. I absolutely love these sweatpants. This is the best investment. I think I pay like, 168 or 179 for these pants they're so freaking long they're uh they have pockets on it has a pocket on the back side has two pockets on the side the best pair of pants i've ever the best pair of what wide leg sweatpants i've ever purchased in my life from free, free people and they are the high high waisted pants so that is uh my six trends i do have two bonus trends okay one of them is sneakers We've seen a lot of sneakers on the runway. All the girly girls who like like to wear heels are now wearing sneakers. And I think we have to thank Adidas for that. Okay. They have made it cool for for uh you know girly girls to start wearing sneakers now. And all of the fashion girls are wearing sneakers. I've been wearing sneakers even pre-baby because Akbar is a sneakerhead. So he kind of like turned me on to more nikes and stuff like that like i was just starting to get into sneakers but i really didn't i, I still like wear heels a lot uh well used to but he kind of turned me into like a sneakerhead and then when I, me having a son now it's like i got to match my baby's shoes so 
I'm, I've already been a sneakerhead before this was a trend, but I, I do think I want to try on the Adidas. I think it's called Adobe. I don't know what they're what they're called, but I'm gonna try on those new Adidas sneakers and see if I like them. Um, but yeah, so that's an extra bonus one, and then the very last, the very last bonus trend. When I tell y'all, I hate this trend. Ballet flats. Okay, I hate ballet flats i think they're so ugly I, I i feel like it you might as well wear socks if you're gonna wear ballet flats or flats mary jane whatever it is i don't like these shoes i think they're so ugly i'm so tired of seeing them i just want to burn them okay i'm so tired of seeing these shoes <coughs> but yeah that's another trend that doesn't seem to be going anywhere like when i tell you everybody has made some type of dupe of these ballet flats zara mango h&m um cost uh who else uh it's just it's just it's not stopping and i don't know why they're so ugly it's not cute i hate ballet flats i hate flats shoes like it's just not i will wear a kitten heel i like a kitten heel i will wear a kitten heel before i wear a ballet flat set or a black or a flat shoe i'm just not doing it it's not for me okay <laughs> but that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh videos coming up I'm going to finally do my first motherhood video, 10 things that helped me survive my first six months of motherhood. So that video is next. And then we're going to do, someone asked me on here to do a video of how I found my style. I thought that was a great idea for a video. So we're going to be doing that soon too. And then, um, so yeah, so after I do that, because I want you guys to really get into how I found my style. And then after that, we'll get back into styling videos. Okay. We're going to get back into putting them clothes on, putting that shit on. You know what I'm saying? If you stuck around this long, make sure you press that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at sheisfalashade. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.